Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to start our discussion on support vector machines. Support vector machines are a very famous and a very capable model that we are going to introduce here. And we are going to start by looking at the linear classifier. So we already have looked at the linear classifier, so this is nothing new. I'm just going to remind a couple of things here before we move on to our discussion of SVMs. So a linear classifier has this general form here, W transpose x plus b is equal to zero for two dimensions, x1 and x2. We can visualize this as a line. That's what we have done here. Uh, and um, we have the W here, which are the weights of the features which are given by x, so x are the features, and then b is the bias term, which gives our line a little bit of flexibility. So bias term is nothing but this intercept, right? As in any line, um, the y-intercept, the y-axis intercept is given by b, and here the y-axis corresponds to the feature x2 and this intercept is b. So b can give us some kind of flexibility. Without b, the line has always has to pass through the origin. And a non-zero intercept gives it the flexibility to lie on either side of the origin where b can be greater than zero or less than zero. And um, these are two sets of points here, one set marked in green and another set in white, and the line perfectly classifies them. Now, let's look at which of these lines are good ones for classifying these two sets of points. We can see that both these sets of points are perfectly classified by all these lines. They all pass in the middle, but some lines, just by visually, you can see that some lines are better than others. And what your brain is doing here is that it's saying, it's saying that some lines are safer than other lines when it comes to the classification. For example, this line here, the black line, seems to be away from both sets of points by a margin, right? By a good amount of distance. But what about this line, this other line? This red line is very close to the green points. So just by visually examining these lines, we can say that the black line is probably better than other lines. And there may be other lines such as probably this one is as good as the black line. So, but we want to find one line which is the best separator among these lines. And that's what support vector machines actually do. So that is the basis for support vector machines. So they are called large margin classifiers because they look at these margins. So these are the margins. And they come up with a form, a formal definition where we maximize this margin. And Rather than by just visually examining, we are going to give it a formal um, definition and then we are going to derive our model by optimizing for its distance from these sets of points. And when you do that, you get one truly best line that is the best separator between these two sets of points and that is written as the output support vector machine model. And we will start with the simplest case, which is the linear model. And then we'll also show where, how 
uh, we can extend SVNs to other um, functions, other complex functions, uh, such as Gaussian and so on. And uh, for that, we will introduce the kernel trick. So that's what we're going to learn in, in this topic.